Hey there, Akira. My name's Shane. I uh, just thought I'd make you a quick little video tutorial on using a couple of features here. Um, starting with the new chart card has given, as you see, it's given you all this satellite imagery, which can help when you go into destinations you are not familiar with. It's also giving you this color shading here that, you know, obviously red is the danger zone. Um, this is one of two forms. When we have it in this mode, which is only available on fishing charts, I would just recommend using fishing charts. This is the only difference and it's pretty awesome stuff. But like you can see right outside the gate here, we get to see what the shape of the bottom looks like, these little sand waves, and still get our colored contours and all of that cool stuff. These arrows are tied, <coughs> excuse me, tied flow. I've also added these tide sliders. If you go and touch that, it's going to tell you it's on its way down. It's at 3.9 feet, and it shows you that at, uh, you know, all over the bay, kind of what the tide's doing. These are all options that can be turned off. Um, if you wanted a more basic version of that, if we go into menu, layers, water layers, you can turn this relief shading off and that's kind of where it's going to show the sand waves and more of a uh, more of a detail of the bottom this is going to give you just like the color shading you can see you know green is plenty good and deep water getting into more and shallower and shallower um, so it's really a personal preference it'll draw a little bit faster within this mode um, the other thing I wanted to quickly go over with on the new autopilot, there's auto guidance that Garmin does and it makes it really simple to, you know, say you wanted to, we're just going to pick a point on the map, say we want to go right there. When we do that right here, it brings up auto guidance. We just click auto guidance and then it's going to make the path and it's got our path and then we hit start navigation. It's going to give me alarm because I'm in a shallow area. I'm actually on land here. Uh, it could refer to the channel and it wants you to be careful on the channel. But uh, normally you won't see that. Um, so now we've made it, another cool feature you get, it's going to tell you the distance based on all the turns and the actual path, how long of a distance it is, what time you'll get there, your course variances and bearings. Um, at any point, if you want to cancel the, the route, this little stop button right here, you hit that stop. It'll ask if you want to save it. It's optional, I'm not going to here, but if you had like one that was your home path, you'll also find you can name those routes and you could go just choose home to go home. Um, on the autopilot, now on our steering system here, you're gonna see we've got track, Heading, these are two basic functions of autopilot. Heading is just gonna keep you pointing in the same direction. If we hit track, it's gonna give you 150 feet off each side on a straight line, and we'll give you what they call cross track error. If you, you know, tide and wind could push you down, and next thing you know, you're off of this course, which could be like if you're in a channel and you get blown down, if all we're gonna do is heading, We'll see the heading, you know, we get pushed down, it'll keep pointing at the same spot, but track will have that cross track error. Meanwhile, here it's grayed out right now, the route. Once we're the engine's on and we're running and we have that route made, we can then choose route. It'll become white and that's what's gonna actually autopilot on that auto guidance route that we made on the map. You can call me anytime if you got questions. Uh, it's pretty fancy stuff, so don't hesitate. There's no stupid questions here. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoy your system. Cheers. Happy holidays.